Now, your CBS Sports Storm Tracker forecast, sponsored by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Here we go. We're looking forward to a nice mild overnight with temperatures down around the mid-70s, partly cloudy skies, and, well, southeast wind 10 to 15. So we've got that thing going on tomorrow. The southeast winds and sunshine working together to warm us up. As we're going to head toward the mid-90s, it'll be a little gusty out there, much like it was today. Not too horribly breezy, but now and again that gust will come along. And the humidity will be up there just high enough to make it feel kind of sticky out there. It feels like 100 to 105 out there. Remember, your body cools by sweat evaporating off your skin. And if the air is already humid and full of water vapor, it's more difficult for that sweat to evaporate. That's why we give you that number. To let you know that 95 may feel more like 105. South Padre Island, 86 degrees for tomorrow, but we'll still have 100 plus for like Star County for tomorrow. Easy. Uh, 90 degrees on Wednesday. Well, what happened there? You went from 95 to 90. It also threw in a chance for showers and thunder showers. Yay! Southeast wind will be shifting around as we have the next weather maker coming on board. That's going to be good news for us as this is going to mean another frontal boundary heading on into the Rio Grande Valley. This time, it's just a slight chance for showers. Look on through the day and you can see that by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the front's already passed through. It should leave a little trough in its wake, a little ripple, and that will help push in some additional shower activity in the afternoon. But about a 30% chance for rain and rumbles from start to finish for the day Wednesday. Now that's nothing to write home about. That's not a spectacular drought buster by any stretch of the imagination. And as the evening wears on, that trough will push inland and will pretty much be done and odds are you won't see a whole lot of rain out of this thing. As far as the chance for thunderstorms or strong thunderstorms, that's all off to the north, southeast Texas onto Louisiana. The light green here represents just the generic thunderstorm opportunity, not severe weather. That comes on down into the upper valley for Wednesday, and that means that, well, you might see a little bit more rain if you manage to see a, a thunderstorm cell. That would be good for you. You'd have a, maybe up to half an inch of rain. But most of the valley will only see the potential for a quarter of an inch or less. Then we get to the weekend. Then we you know, turn the page. And we're looking at Saturday with a 50% chance for rain and maybe some thunderstorms. 80 degrees for a high. Wind shifting to out of the north, northeast. Sunday, it's true. We keep the northeast breeze. 80 degrees and a 30% chance. Here's how that plays out. I know you're, what you're thinking. Didn't you just show us this? This is not the one for Wednesday. This is the one for the weekend. This is Saturday, 6 a.m. This front has a little more meat on the bone. It is the dividing line between mild air and hot air, the drier air, the moist air. You've got two different air masses bumping up against each other. Gives you a better chance for showers and thunder showers. So we go from a 50% chance to a 30% chance from Saturday to Sunday, which includes Friday night, by the way. So that, that's all good. We need the rain around here and we'll take it. You can see that we have the drop in temperatures and the increase in the opportunity for rain for really Friday night on into Saturday, and then it kind of lingers into Sunday. I am really counting on that. All right, that's a look at your Storm Tracker forecast.